all right man it's it's not looking too good for the blazers right now uh they just went down 2-1 to the denver nuggets as i'm talking right now austin rivers is at the line shooting free throws uh, he basically was one of the best players on the court in terms of being in the fourth quarter absolutely killed us in the fourth quarter you know he dropped 19 points four rebounds two assists he killed us on threes five of ten from the three so absolutely amazing game from rivers but in terms of for portland it was absolutely horrible so what's up my name is jc today we're talking about why the portland Trail blazers need to figure things out and why they're sort of in trouble right now before that, do quick if you guys like the video drop it down below press subscribe button and let's get into the video so the portland Trail blazers tonight they basically lost 115 106 to the denver nuggets now i will say that for the most part, Damian Lillard was pretty much off from three point. No, shooting four of 14. Absolutely horrendous, 29%. But overall, had 34 points, two rebounds, five assists, two steals, 14 of 29 from the field. So, in terms of overall from the field, wasn't that bad. But in terms of three pointers, was absolutely off. I could already tell from the first quarter when he wasn't hitting his threes that he was going to have a pretty off game from three. So, it made sense. Other than that, uh, we had CJ McCollum, 19 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, and a steal. He was doing pretty good in the first. He had like a lot, I mean a lot of shots in the paint, man. He was trying to get going with a lot of shots in, in the paint, but couldn't get it going like overall in the game, man. Shot 7 of 19 from the field, 2 of 9 from 3, so that 2 of 9 from 3, absolutely horrendous. Uh, Nurkic had 13 points, 13 rebounds, 6 assists, and a block. Uh, Nurkic was pretty okay for them this game, you know. It was guarding Jokic not not really that well man it's just a horrible matchup in terms of Jokic versus Nurkic because obviously uh Jokic is a good perimeter um offensive player so Nurkic could not guard him especially like in the interior too go so uh and Nurkic he also fouled out too which is the absolute worst part of it so all of that for nothing Robert Covington, 6 points, 11 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal in the block. I mean, Robert Covington, we all know what he can do, man. But, like, he, we were running Robert Covington at the small ball 5 as Carmelo Anthony hits a 3. <laughs> uh, we were running Robert Covington at the 5 for, for the most part in the 4th. But it just wasn't working because Jokic was absolutely killing Robert Covington in the paint. It just didn't make any sense for Robert Covington to be the small ball 5. We could just put Cantor in, but obviously he doesn't play defense. So, uh, it, it is what it is. And then finally, Norma Powell, 18 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, a steal, and 2 blocks. Really good output from Norma Powell today. I liked what he did in the first quarter. Really stuck out in all four quarters, basically, man. He had a lot, a lot of really good offensive plays, a lot of three-pointers in the corners. Just a really good game overall from Norman Powell. I mean, he went 2-6 from 3, but overall, 8-14 of 14 from the field. And then other than that, like literally off the bench, nobody scored except for Carmelo with 17, went 4 of 8 from 3, was pretty much starting to get going in the second half of the game, but in the first few minutes, actually well the first two quarters, he actually wasn't that good. And then other than that, like no one else scored on the bench, and I mean nobody except for Melo and Anthony Simons, and man, I mean, and it's Cantor played 5 minutes, had 0 points, Anthony Simons had 2, Rondé played 4 minutes, had 0 nothing man so this blazers team is definitely in trouble man i just definitely hope they just do something in the offseason to address what they need because they need defense off the bench man they don't need any more scoring they already got carmelo anthony like they don't need any more scoring they need defense that's why i said they should go for nawabo i have a blazers channel if you guys want to check that out I'll put up in um in the description if you guys want to check it out but uh they definitely should go for david nawaba in the offseason man would really be a good piece on this contending team he's 29 years old i want to say would really help them win off the bench would probably replace ronde or Derek jones jr it's just like they need a lot of defense on this team and it's so apparent because when robert covington when, <laughs> this is like robert covington is their only good defensive player right now and it's just absolutely unbelievable because and this canter, like, he can't get any better at defense, man. He's absolutely trash. I mean, like, they need to get a defensive minus center this offseason because Cantor's not getting it done for them. He only played five minutes because he can't guard Jokic. I mean, this was an absolute horrible matchup for the Blazers because you know, no one's guarding Jokic on basically the perimeter or the interior, man. Like, if this was, like, a, def a defensive minded center, like, maybe, like, Rudy Gobert or, honestly, like, Joel Embiid, this would be a better matchup. But it was such a horrible matchup for Blazers fans because Yusuf Nurkic can't guard the perimeter, nor can Ennis Cantor. And in terms of, like, other people, in, like, playing defense, TJ McCollum, absolutely, like, he's, like, average, like, a little bit, like, below average. Anthony Simons, no defense at all. Carmelo, no defense at all. Rondé has a little bit of defense, but we don't play him enough, so it doesn't make any sense. 
So, like, this team definitely has a lot of work, man. They're definitely in trouble if they don't figure things out soon. I mean, they really need Damian Lillard to go off right now as he hits a three. But they really need him to go off for him to basically make it out of this series. So, hopefully they do do something in this offseason to at least get some defense on this team. A defensive-minded center at best, please. Or someone off the bench, David Nwabo. I've been saying David Nwabo has been absolutely amazing for the Houston Rockets. Off the bench would be a really good piece for them in terms of defense and offense. So uh, this Blazers team is definitely in trouble, but hopefully they do figure it out in basically the next few games. So that's the end of the video. If you guys like the video, drop it down below. Press subscribe button and I'm out. Peace.